Talk to me about uh, what, it, what it means uh, to you that that book exists. No, it means a lot because some people say, well, it was during an ugly time, an ugly war, this and it. But we're soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. And, you know, we don't, we don't select which wars we want to participate in. They select us, and we go and do our job. I think that the Vietnam veterans did a fantastic job. And they paid dearly for that. When you see 58,000 names plus on the wall in, Viet in uh, Washington, that speaks volume. To that little ground pounder that was, a, that was the um, <clears throat> tunnel red that went into tunnels to discover explosives or hideouts and things like that. To the ground pounder who went all over South Vietnam, you know, to try to defend what we were, the mission we were given. They did a great job, and it means a lot because, believe it or not, you know, veterans are proud veterans, just like any other veteran. You know, we can stand side by side with anyone. It's extremely grateful to see that after so many years, after so many years, uh, we were finally recognized with a book of our own. Uh, you know, we were all young troopers at the time, you know, and I look 50 years, 60 years later, you know, here we are still standing, but remembering, remembering our fallen heroes. And that's what it's all about, the fact not only, I don't care so much about being recognized as an individual that survived, I care more about those individuals who have passed away because of war, and their families and spouses that know that they won't be forgotten, that that name will always be on the wall, that we'll always be thinking about them, and that thank God we have Memorial Day ceremonies to remember their heroic uh, deeds. Uh, what does it mean to you, uh, you know, hearing the governor talk about, you know, he hopes through this book uh, more veterans will seek out services that are there for them and, and hope, you know, they do yeah. receive them? You know, you know, as you may or may not know, there's 22 veterans that commit suicide, you know, every day. And you know, that's, a, that's a high number. We shouldn't have that. And maybe it's because they don't know their rights, their entitlements. Not their free benefits, but their entitlements that they have earned. Many of them became homeless, became uh, addicted to alcohol or other things. But it was because of what they saw each and every day while they were in Vietnam. And they have a tough time recovering. They're finally coming out, you know, where they say, I'm a Vietnam veteran, I'm a proud Vietnam veteran. You see more Vietnam t-shirts and caps than we had ever seen in the past. And it means that they're recognizing that their war was not in vain, that our war was not in vain that we sacrificed, we came home. We may not have agreed with the decisions, but we were, we were under orders to obey them, and we did. And for that, I'll forever be grateful to the governor who came forward and his staff and said, we're gonna do this for our veterans and, and you know, our Vietnam veterans. And the fact that, uh, you know, there's so many of them, you know, so many friends on that wall, you know, that, uh, that you know, you're here because they're not. And, you know, a lot of people speak about Survivor's guilt, you know, I survived, but my friends didn't. Until I was talking to a Marine a while back, and we were talking, and, and he said, Al, you know, you shouldn't have survivor's guilt. You should have and embrace survivor's responsibility, because those that came back, those that didn't, their families, it's your responsibility to ensure that they're remembered and that they're taken care of in whatever manner is best for the family in our United States of America.